What's up guys? My name is Matt. Well met. And in this video we're going to be making a dungeon guide for the Hellfire Ramparts. Now Hellfire Ramparts, uh, three quests right in the beginning. And it's the first dungeon that uh, we used to hit when we came into the Burning Crusade. Let me get my pet out here so I can actually do some damage. And what we're doing in Hellfire Ramparts is we got three bosses and three quests to run through here, guys. So we will we will get started on that and see how we do. First uh, quest that you guys are going to pay attention to is going to be the Hellfire Supplies. And the Hellfire Supplies is these little boxes that are on the ground here and they're littered all over the dungeon and there's plenty of them for everybody in the group there they are right there shining at us those are the hellfire supplies these here so open that up you're gonna get three of those as we roll through here and i'm doing this guide on my beast mastery hunter uh, which is i think the tune that i'm gonna be playing for my main in shadowlands but uh, I thought that before when an expansion started and then um, not like the way that my class played. So I'm going to have a couple of specs ready just in case I don't enjoy how this one plays. Okay. That happened to me in um, Battle for Azeroth. Um, I thought I was going to play Beast Mastery Hunter, and I ended up playing um, a lot of Fury Warrior because I didn't care for the changes that were made to the class for that expansion, but they change the classes every expansion, as you guys know, so I always have a couple alts ready. Um, and uh, once you get these three boxes of Hellfire Supplies, um, the other two quests are just to kill the three bosses, so it's super simple and super basic in here, guys. And on this character, I'm really looking forward to um, getting uh, my exotic pets at level 65 because that greatly increases your power as a hunter. So that's a lot of fun. Um, now, this used to be the dungeon that automatically you'd start at like level 58 to 60. But um, the way they have the game set right now until Shadowlands drops is that you can um, do either the BC or the Wrath dungeons out the gate. So whatever you like to do at 58, you can get started with. Okay. Last set of boxes right here. And we're already done with that quest, guys. Good tank. And I've got misdirect up, so I'll go to town on my AoE here. And what you want to be watching for when you're clearing out these mob packs, guys, is that the boss actually patrols back and forth in this area. So just keep an eye out that he doesn't sneak up on you while you're fighting the pack. Because that could be tough on the group if you don't have the best gear or if you guys are not paying attention or... Even if you just pull too many mobs, a lot of bosses are stationary, but this first boss um, is uh, is a patrol, and that's Watchkeeper uh, Golgomar, or is it Gargomar? <laughs> Gargomar. That sounds like uh, Gargamel from when I was a kid watching Smurfs. So you can see the group doesn't want to pull him when he's right there. wants to clear some of the ads first, which I agree with and understand. We got a festival of ads, it looks like. We'll get them down. Huh. 
Eh, he got the boss too. We're gonna have some fun. And normally I would just work on the boss, but with this many ads, I'm gonna cure the ads to uh, try to help the group get some of this damage down that's on the tank. The tank looks like he's doing a pretty good job of managing it. And this is Watchkeeper Gargamar, and all he really does is charges around pretty much like warrior-like abilities, guys. Nothing too crazy. Make sure you loot him, guys, because his hand is the first quest item. Okay. Now we're going to head over here, clear these two guys, and then we're going to head up the stairs. Now, when you guys are clearing off this five, six uh, mobs here and you go to pull the next two, just be aware that there's a patrol that can come around. 61 for me. And that patrol can pull with this group as well, as well as other groups if you're not careful. So just be ready for that. Oh, my pet is dead. Okay. What you want to do now is head over here to the left and pull this pack. The patrol pulls, it's okay, but you want it to pull while it's not near this group over here because then you get both groups together. You can get a little froggy like that. Let's see, one, two, misdirect is up, and I can go ham. Tank is down to 24%. We're doing some work. Tank is dead. Taunt is on. Pet is healed. Let's go. Beast cleave for the win. Right. Three packs at once is a little crazy. That's the final boss up there. Okay, tank is back. Okay, there's another patrol right there. It's probably going to pull into this group. Did not pull. All right, head over here. Okay, now we've got Omar the Unscarred. Omar is going to carry um, some fell hunters with him that are going to come help him along the way that kind of get like summoned, basically. They don't really do a whole lot of damage, though, so don't, don't sweat it too much. Let's see if we can get a better look at him here for you guys. Here we go. All right. Your 
Okay, make sure to loot Omar as well. Quest item there. Okay, there's one patrol right here on the way to the next boss, and then one stationary pack before the boss. Such a cool sky here in Outland, guys. Okay. So once you clear these, he's going to come down, and you got to kill the orc first. Hopefully we get these cool red orc appearances in Shadowlands, because right now we can't. They look pretty awesome. So once you finish off Vazrudin, this is the actual last boss, which is Nazan. And Nazan is a dragon. He does an AoE fire breath, so don't stand in front of him. And he just does some swipes, so... Nothing too crazy, though. Okay, that was ramps. Easy day, come over here. After a little bit, you're going to be able to loot this chest. This is actually where your boss items are. Okay, if you have anything, it'll be in there. Now, at this point, you want to head over to... Um, you don't have to port out and port back in because there's a drop-down right up here, guys. This is how this instance used to be ran all the time for people for gold. So come down here, jump down, and jump down, and turn in your three quest. And you guys are totally set. That's it for Hellfire Ramps. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please throw me a like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel to help people as much as I can. And hit the little bell icon so you get notified when I drop a future videos. If you guys enjoy this type of content. Thank you guys for spending the time with me. This has been Matt from Light in the Darkness, signing out. See you guys in the next one. Till we meet again.